What's up, everybody? This is Alex from WMD, back at you again. This time, we're going to be talking about gates. So Metron is a trigger and gate sequencer. We're going to be talking about using gates as CVs specifically. So using gates to modulate parameters inside your synth to make things a little bit more dynamic or a little bit more changing. Um, if you don't have a voltage sequencer, you can use some cool little tricks um, like attenuating your gates. That's the main thing we're going to talk about. So um, what I've got set up here is I've got the Metron controlling my four drums here. So I've got kick drum, claps, tambourine, and my crucible cymbal. I've also got it controlling the step and reset input on the Arpitect. And I've got uh, the Arpitect is controlling the PDO voice, which is a phase displacement or phase distortion oscillator. Um, with the triple bipolar VCA, we're going to get some really cool filter-like sounds all um, modulated by the multi-mode envelope. Those are running into the performance mixer. Out of the performance mixer, I've got an, out, an aux out running into the Doppler, which is a delay. And then you can see here I've got this purple cable running from my quad attenuator into the regen input. So um, first I'm just going to play the beat and we're just going to hear what I've got going on. So let's start it going. And first of all, here's my uh, PDO. Pretty standard WMD voice, right? And that's going through the Doppler. You can hear the Doppler kind of producing that noisy delay in the background, right? So I turn up the region. All right, so there's my PDO. Next, I'm going to turn up my drums. And you'll hear inside of the crucible, I've actually got the phase displacement oscillator, the PDO, molted out of the output, and I'm running that into the cymbal. So we've got both the exciter hitting 16th notes, and then we've got, uh, or just like a 16th note rhythm, and then we've got the PDO running through there to kind of give it a little bit more weirdness. I've got it in the experimental mode, so we can get some cool dark sounds. And then here's with the PDO back in. All right, so that's basically my patch. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add more rhythm uh, to my claps. So what I've got going on here is I've just got a gate going out of channel 14 here. And that's running through this cable into the reverb input on my fracture. So I'm just going to momentarily hit the reverb here. So I'm on page one right now. I'm going to go to page two. And that's channel 14. So I'm just going to go into gate mode and use 100% gates. And on uh, page two, I'm just going to say on the fourth note, we're going to hear a little blast of delay. Or sorry, reverb. There we go. I'm going to let that transition all the way into the next bar, and then we'll do another one on B4 of page 4. One, two, three, pa. All right. That's All right. That sounds pretty cool. Now I've got the decay input. Um, I've got another gate running through my quad attenuator here. So this is channel number 15. So I've got 15 going into this quad attenuator. I'm going to open it all the way up so you can see what's going to happen. That comes back out and that's going into the uh, decay input on Fracture. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say on every um, beat 2, I want the decay to be a little bit longer. So one cool trick about Metron is if you want every step to respond to the action that you're um, going to put on that step, you just hold the encoder down while you press it. And now that's on every page. So you can hear that on beat two, I've got this really long clap, but then on the second one, it's really nice and tight. So with the attenuator now, I'm just gonna dial in the amount of decay I want. There we go, now it's just a little bit more subtle, right? So that sounds cool. Bring in my Camara. That's a pretty sweet little beat we got. And uh, so now I'm gonna bring back in my other stuff here. And I've got another gate output running through my quad attenuator. And this time we're going into the region input of the Doppler. So this is channel number 16. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste my pattern here. So I was on E, we're gonna go to variation D. And now I'm gonna take uh, channel number 16 and I'm gonna run a 100% gate the whole way through. 
So I'm just gonna hold step one here on channel 16. I'm gonna turn encoder one, right? See how it says 100? And now we're extending the gates out. I'm gonna take this all the way to page four. So now, when we transition into this note, we can kind of dial in the amount of region we're gonna get, or into this variation, right? So now we're gonna get lots and lots of region over here. If I take out the kick drum, you'll hear it quite a bit, right? Turn it up just a little bit more. Maybe that's a little too much. But now when we transition to the other variation, just sucks it all away, because now it turned that uh, region back down to where our knob was. So, do that again. Let this create a swell for us. And then we'll go back and we'll bring in the kick drum. All right, so one other thing I can do is I can run a gate into the architect. So just a straight gate running into the architect is gonna change um, like our notes mask or whatever running into it a ton, right? So again, we're just gonna run the attenuation. So I've got, um, I've got a channel going into the architect here and that is channel number 13. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say on, let's say variation E, copy it to C. Now we're just gonna make this a one bar pattern to make it nice and easy. And we're gonna go to channel 13 and we're just gonna, again, just put 100% gate all the way across, right? And so now what we can do is we can, with our quad attenuator, we can look at the architect and see what note we're gonna be playing or what note mask is gonna be on. So this is zero volts going in there and we can just kind of attenuate. So now I can bring this in here. That sounds pretty cool. So I'm gonna bring all this in. Now that's that same rhythm we were using, just a different notes mask. So let's go back to E. Turn this uh, delay down just a little bit. And so now we'll go into our other section. That's all going through that crucible, making it sound real weird. And then we'll go to our swell section. Here comes that swell. And then we'll just drop it back in. All right, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give a quick example on how to use gates as CVs and also how to use an attenuator. A lot of people on you know the forums and different kinds of threads are asking, you know, what is a module that you cannot have enough of? Um, the common answer is VCAs. Well, another answer is just straight attenuators. The WMD SSF quad attenuator is a super cheap module and it takes takes up four HP and I use it in every single patch that I make. So it's definitely a super useful thing. And on top of that, we've got Metron, um, which is just, you know, your trigger and gate powerhouse, just all of your rhythm and then our new drum modules as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll see you guys next time.